Hey O citizens, this is Booyah here. Um, I'm making a short video today to show you uh, how the uh, power management systems work in uh, Arena Commander version 0 0.8 and also uh, the shield functions. Uh, I found these two to be a little bit more confusing than the rest of the systems uh, the first week when I was setting up all my key bindings and everything. Um, I kind of had to scrounge through the forums to really find any uh, good information about how to actually use these f functions and um, if you're a visual person like me um, it's kind of easier to see someone do it versus someone just telling you on the forums so this video is for uh, those type of people alright so uh, I'll go ahead and get started here um, I'm just uh, in uh, the free flight mode um, I'm pretty sure everybody's probably pretty familiar with uh, the basic four HUD screens are up here, and you have to use uh, the default key bindings are F1 through 4. So uh, the power management screen is on the, the 3 screen. So um, if you look on here, we've got this, uh, I don't know, this Triforce of Power Management here, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then we've got our three uh, weapons uh, groups docked here on the, on the bottom. Um, I guess real quick, high overview. Um, so this controls your... Uh, your weapons uh, to the left here, uh, the right top corner here controls your shields, and the bottom controls your uh, your thrusters avionics. Uh, so basically how this works is uh, you've got this little center crosshair, and if you move this up into one of the corners, you'll get, you'll divert power from the other systems and transfer it to uh, the system that you're pulling it to respectively. Uh, so real quick here, uh, something I found in the forums, uh, I guess props to Eric the Cat McKedden for figuring this out. I don't know if he was the first one, but it was the thread I ended up finding. Um, explained how to do this. Um, so basically, if you actually look in the uh, XML file for the default key bindings, you'll see uh, down here in Spaceship HUD section, there are uh, some uh, key bindings here. Uh, num1 through num9 and this v, these vhud variables they're bound to the keypad uh, the uh, numpad 1 through 9 keys uh, and this is how you like kind of navigate you know through a menu like you're using your arrow keys basically um, so he found out that I guess this combination to actually activate the uh, the center uh, uh, power reticle here so basically in order to get this thing active, to be able to move this uh, your power distribution around, you have to do the following uh, key combination. You have to do, uh, on your numpad key, you have to hit 97115. Don't ask me why. Uh, it's probably just some kind of placeholder, but you hit that, and as you see, uh, the little uh, power management system is now active, so we can move this uh, our power distribution around. Uh, so in order to move the power distribution around, you have to use the um, the arrow keys on your numpad. So um, if I wanted to move it up to group one, my weapons, distribute my all my power to my weapons, I would just use the four and the eight, the uh, up and left keys, to move it up there. And you can't even like hold the keys down. You have to individually tap them over and over again. So you know, like 20, 20 keystrokes to get over there. So now um, I have full power to my weapons. If I wanted to do it for shields, I just tap the right key, six, over and over again. I have full power to shields. Same thing for weapons, you kind of you just hit down and it'll slide down here for you. Um, and then I think you have to lock it in, so one way to do that is just to hit like F1 and then you can hit F3 again. And you see how it's not flashing anymore, it's kind of locked in. So, um, as you can see, hitting 97115 is, <laughs> and doing that in combat, I mean, that's pretty uh, unfeasible. But um, I'll show you here in a second how to uh, make a macro to do this on one keystroke. So it's actually is feasible to do in combat. Um, I do realize a lot of people are using voice attack, and that probably is the optimal way. Um, if you haven't bought it yet, I'm not endorsing it or anything, um, and you have a Logitech keyboard. Um, you can actually set it on your Logitech keys. So uh, one interesting thing I will say before I move on here with the uh, macros is um, I noticed that when you move um, this little crosshair around the uh, the power triangle, 
Um, if you see these little red dots below the weapons here, and there's some red dots below um, your engine components here, if you watch now, if I uh, say I move the crosshair over to the weapons, if you watch those red dots underneath the weapons, move it over here, one, two, three, uh, you can see that the, I guess that represents the power, you can see it move over as I move it back and forth. So it looks like they get full power by the time you move to the edge of this inner triangle. So I don't even know if you need to go all the way over here. Just side thing I noticed. Um, then if you do the same thing, if you look down at the, uh, I guess two is the shield generator. It looks like it has full power. I don't know why. Anyone wants to leave a comment about that. Um, the uh, the engines down three. You see how they're like. Look at about 60 to 70 percent. If I start moving down to the uh, the engines group, you'll see that it starts those red power pips start going up, and they're pretty much maxed by the time you get to the edge of the triangle. So I thought that was interesting. Um, so yeah, let's go into uh, how to make uh, a macro using the uh, Logitech software that come with your keyboard. Uh, one comment about this, I got this keyboard like probably four years ago and I don't think I updated the software, uh, yeah, 2010, uh, so there's probably a newer version of this, but it's probably similar enough, um, you can kind of get the gist of how this works. So, um, you can create a profile for Star Citizen, um, <laughs> I haven't played World of Warcraft in years, I don't even, didn't realize that was in there, so... Uh, create a new profile, just, you know, fill this out, hit OK. Um, so, basically, we're going to make a macro now. So, for my G1 key, uh, and you go in here and hit Assign Macro and hit Create New Macro. I've already got mine created, so I'm just going to go into Edit This Macro. So, basically, what I did was um, I hit, um, I have it hit F3. Then I have it do the 97115 combo. And then I basically just over and over again, I think I did this like 30 times or something, I hit numpad 6 and 8, which is your uh, your right and your uh, your up arrow key and your numpad. I basically just simulated moving the little crosshair over there. And um, I think I ended with, uh, to lock it in, I hit uh, added an F1 and an F3. So uh, this will actually... Uh, do it in all one macro. Um, so this is on my G1 key, full power to shields. If I go ahead and back into the game here and I hit my G1 key, you see it goes right up to the uh, corner there to the shields. You can do the same thing with weapons and engines. Um, just go in here real quick. Pretty much the same thing, F3, 9, 7, 1, 1, 5. I do 8, 4 instead, which is to head up to the group one for your weapons to the left instead of the right. Um, uh, you might need to add a little delay into here um, and set it. Um, I just added a 0.1 second delay. I think if you spam it too fast, then you know these keystrokes at once can uh, cause it to just screw up. Um, so, anyways, uh, if it doesn't appear to work, I'd try adding a delay into there. So I've got that bound to a G2. So if I hit that, G2 goes straight over to weapon. So, so, um, so I hit my uh, my shields. Apparently, I didn't uh, put enough uh, right arrow keys into the macro. So I have to actually like hit it twice to get it to go across. But uh, my my weapons macro it goes all the way over but my shields have to hit it like twice so but you you get the idea so that's how you do it with a G15 keyboard uh so that's pretty much all I have for the power stuff i think that's pretty much all there is to it right now i don't even know if um if this is just a facade like it isn't actually wired up to the actual in game functions behind the scenes um i know this like if i uh hit my full weapons macro, full power to weapons, um, which is G2. Um, if I hit that and say I go back to my uh, main screen here and uh, say I fire uh, my mantis cannons, uh, I've got 1200, uh, 1200 ammo here. If I go ahead and fire these and stop right before they overheat, 
I think I can get like a hundred off, and this is with full power to weapons right now. So if I go ahead and do that real quick. So I got right to about 100 rounds there before, right before they overheated. So you would think that that means with full power to weapons you could shoot more. Um, however, if I go back to shields here, get my macro, take the power away from the weapons and put it all to shields, and then um, I go ahead and fire off my mantis cannons again, you'll see that um, it appears that I can, I can't. Sh I'm not shooting anything less, like I can still shoot the same amount as if I had uh, full power to the weapon, so real quick, just to demonstrate. Okay, and they overheated right at about, you know, another thousand rounds, so you can see it doesn't look like it does anything. I don't know if it, you know, makes the ammo better or increases the, the rate of fire or the muzzle velocity. You know, this is kind of nitty gritty stuff that you'd probably have to ask someone at CIG. I mean, maybe Travis Day or someone, maybe they haven't really even put this together. So it could all just, it could not really even do anything. So I'm not sure. Um, I haven't really, you know, I guess you could test if you had multiplayer access, to, you know, shoot your buddy and see, you know, play with the power settings and see if it has any effect on how fast you kill them, how many bullets it takes. Um, so, anyways. I thought that was interesting, just throw that out there, I mean, you know, it's alpha, you know, they're probably going to get the, all this stuff developed eventually, so, um, anyways, that's pretty much shield, that's all I have for that, so, um, going to move on to the shield aspect of this now, so, um, your shields basically, uh, <laughs> um, the Hornet has four quadrants, I think the Roar and the 300 I only have, like, front and back, um, I assume your top gets hit, they kind of uh, split this up into, uh, you know, four quadrants, you know, the back half with the uh, left and the right halves, and the end, the top or bottom, it just kind of goes into one of those four quadrants, so. Um, your shields here, um, you've got four quadrants on the Hornet, so basically, um, I think the default keybinding for tr distributing power to your shields, if we go back into this uh, XML file for the default keybindings, there's a section up here called uh, Spaceship Defensive. Uh, the section with shield rays, forward, back, left, and right, it's bound to the right control and the numpad keys. You know, the up, down, left, right, respectively. Um, <laughs> one mistake I made is, I don't know if you guys, I assume every most people do this uh, when you hit alt control delete to like you know reboot your computer or whatever um, I usually hit the left alt control uh, with delete to do that and uh, I think I was trying to hit control on like my numpad A for like five minutes I was like <laughs> why is this not working and then finally I realized like uh, you know duh, uh, it's the right control so don't be like me and uh, accidentally <laughs> use the wrong control button so thought I would point that out real quick so basically you hold down the right control and one of the four numpad directions so if I wanted to say transfer my shields to all the way to the front shields um, one thing you will notice here is um, get my cursor back here this uh, little uh, triangle denotes I guess how much of the power you have to the individual shield quadrant um, when you hold it down, you should see this go up. Now, for some reason, it doesn't go up all the way to the right. I don't know why. It only go like two thirds of the way. But um, you'll see this go up as I hold down control and my uh, the right control and the uh, eight key. So I go ahead and do this. You'll see that that moves moved over here, and that's as far as it'll move. I don't know why. I really don't know what this spinner was. It used to be spinning before, but um. One other thing to notice is um, if you hold control and tap 5, it'll rebalance your shields. Um, one thing to note here, as soon as I uh, give full power to the front shields, you'll actually see up in this hologram, you'll see this like shield panel. You'll see this thing start to grow. So let me do that for you one more time. So watch this shield panel up here in the corner. So I go ahead, I uh, hit my front shields up here. See this front panel? Look at that thing grow. 
So that's how you, I guess, visually indicate that you've got full power to your front shield. So that looks pretty nice, I guess. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, you can. I pretty much assume that most of the times you'll probably just be doing back and front shield. So you know, I just transfer everything to the back. Same deal. So um, you can make a macro for this too. I'll go that real quick here before we stop. Um, so I've got a sh macro for my front shield. Create a new macro or edit. Uh, so I have right control. I hold down right control and the num eight key. Then I have a three second delay and I release them. You have to keep these keys held down and wait for the power slider to move all the way over. So I figured it took three seconds. So I mean, I could I could redo this over. So I'd hit like Control Eight, let go of them. I don't record the delays. I just uh, manually insert them. I rather just it's more accurate to do that and just edit the delay and type in the exact value you want rather than like manually count it off. So go ahead and do that. I've got it on my G4 key, front shields, full part of my front shield. So if I hit my G4 key right now, bam. Watch this. Look at that shield. Bam. Look at that shield girl in there. So, did it in one key. So, one thing to know with the G15 is you do have these uh, three M keys on top here. You can actually put uh, three different sets of macros on these six uh, G keys. So, um, that's just something uh, you should know. Um, because uh, you've got four for your shields if you've got a Hornet. And uh, I think you need three for your your power management screen. So uh, that's pretty much all I have right now. Uh, like I said, all this is welcome to Alpha. It's a working process. I'm sure they will fix all this and uh, document it a little bit more and make it. They'll probably make something. You know, hopefully they may give us macros. I think they said they would uh, look into that and uh, maybe they'll. Uh, you know, when they. Uh, create a key binding screen in game. Um, they'll make some uh, easier uh, behind the scenes stuff for uh, uh, doing all this and not having to like navigate through the uh, you know the HUD using your one through nine and your num key pack because that's just there's gonna be a lot of people that just don't want to have to figure that out. So uh, that's about it. like I said. Uh, thanks to Eric McKetton on the forums for figuring this stuff out. Um, that's pretty much all I've got, so um, if you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up, follow my channel if you want, uh, appreciate you all watching, and this is Booyah, uh, signing off, and I was, guess I'll see you uh, in that verse. Later guys, thanks.